Hello and welcome to another Monkey Besa video. If you are regular around here, you know we like to take a detailed look at some of the most inspirational entrepreneurs and how they made it there. If you ain't a regular, go ahead and hit the sub. I'll wait. One more thing before we jump in. Head over to monkeypesa.com to get yourself access to our business management platform. <clears throat> we'll help you keep the mundane parts of running your business in check for marketing, tracking sales, accounting and so much more. Alright then, for a change, today we're not taking a look at a character, more at an entity. Now this might sound familiar because we have taken a look at the entrepreneur responsible for this entity before. Take a look at the video in the top left corner to see his profile. Our entity for today is Globacom Telecommunications, also known as GLOW. Globacom Limited is a Nigerian multinational telecommunications company founded on 29th August 2003 by Mike Adenuga. As of June 2018, the company was employing more than 3,500 people worldwide. Glow is the second largest telecom network in Nigeria. As of 2018, it had over 45 million subscribers. In 2011, Glow became the first telecommunications company to build an $800 million high capacity fiber optic cable known as Glow One. Glow One is a submarine cable from the United Kingdom to Nigeria. It is the first submarine cable of its kind. Globacom has the following strategic business units Glow Mobile, Glow Broad Access, Glow Gateway, and Glow One. It is privately owned by the Mike Adenuga Group, which also consists of Cobblestone Properties and Estates, a real estate and property development company, Cornell PLC, a petroleum marketing company, and Cornell Producing, a crude oil exploration company. Like we saw previously, the gentleman at the helm of Globacom is a pretty astute businessman. A closer look at the strategic business units in the company is all you need to see that. Let's start with Glow Mobile. It is Nigeria's second largest mobile network operator, and in its first year of operation, it had 1 million subscribers in over 87 towns in Nigeria and raised over 120 billion Naira in revenues. Launched in August 2003, GlowMobile introduced lower tariffs, paper second billing alongside other value-added services. Although GlowMobile was the fourth GSM operator to launch in Nigeria, within seven years of the company's operation, its subscriber base had grown to over 25 million. In June 2008, GlowMobile was launched in Benin. It showed unprecedented growth through the sale of 600,000 SIM cards in the first 10 days of operation. Glomobile offered per second billing, which charges subscribers for the exact airtime they used. They also offered other value services such as multimedia messaging, Glomagic Plus, news and information, vehicle tracking, and musical ringback tones. They also brought in some mobile banking. In May of 2008, Glow acquired an operating license through its Glow Mobile division in Ghana that planned to capture 30% of the current 11 million subscriber market within 18 months of the launch. Their plan was to launch it with a bundled voice and internet service for Ghana, though they wanted to specifically target unserviced areas outside Ghana's two major cities, Accra and Kumasi. Glow was set to launch in the first quarter of 2010. This, however, had to be postponed to the third quarter of 2011 and again to 2012. In January 2012, Glow Ghana opened the Reserve Your Number campaign, but still without opening network. On 8th April 2011, Glow launched the submarine optical fiber Glow One, 
One part of its maiden operation in Ghana to usher in another major player in the Ghana telecommunications industry. In October 2009, Glow acquired submarine cable landing rights and international gateway services in Cote d'Ivoire. Glow One, that submarine cable we talked about, it is the first submarine cable to successfully cross from the United Kingdom to Nigeria, and Glow is Africa's first individual company to embark on such a project. Glow One has the potential to provide high speed internet services faster, more reliable, and cheaper telecom services. Glow One will potentially facilitate foreign investment and employment opportunities, especially to Africans. The 9,800 kilometer long cable originates from build in the UK and is laid from this origin to Alpha Beach in Lagos, where it will have its landing station. Glow One will also improve teleconferencing, distance learning, disaster recovery, telemedicine, among other benefits for Nigerians and people of West Africa. If you watched this far, we would like to say thank you. Don't forget to like, leave a comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you do not miss future videos. Till next time.